Introduction to Daf 28 in Masichet Megillah. Do you have a Kiddush club in your shul? Do you schmooze? Do you eat? Do you have cake or cholent? Whatever. So this uh, Gemara and this Mishnah will discuss the idea of what is allowed and not allowed to do in shul in terms of eating and drinking and chas v'chalila, sleeping, and all these things that we do as a community. And more importantly, Talmidei Chachamim, the scholars who are sitting and learning in the Bet Midrash slash shul all day, what can they do in shul and what can't they do in shul? And chas v'chalila, what happens if the shul is no longer used? Bateknesset bechur banam. It used to be a shul, now it's not, but you still have to keep it as a dignified place. You can't just put your laundry on top of it. You can't use it um, to put food or supplies. It's not a garage. It's not, um, it's not your shed. So how, do you, how should you treat the shul after it's no longer being used as one? And what can you or can't you do when you do use the shul? Everything in this daf, daf 28, go learn the full daf.